So it's Saturday morning, man. It's 11.54 a.m. right now, and my car is broke down on the side of the road. Yeah, so in the tow truck right now, headed to the Toyota dealership on Geary, of course, man. So I'm with my guy Carlos, you know, he's taking me there. Oh man, what's going on, people? Drum roll, please. Ronnie Speed coming back. Hold up, hold up, you know what time it is. Here we have a weekly recap from the dates of August 8th all the way to August 14th, 2022, of course. Let's get it. If you've seen the beginning clip, you've seen that I had my car towed. The car had broke down this week. <gasps> oh no. I will get to that later. And um, what am I going to do in the meantime while my car is in the shop? In this week's video, I'm going to be discussing a few topics, which is the weekly earnings, of course, showing how much money I made this week, the gas, how much money I spent on gas, since all of y'all care about that the importance of readapting your mindset and uh, being flexible to change. And um, of course, I'm gonna have a little Ronnie Speed rant at the end, AKA the summary of the video. So let's dive right into it. Okay, for this week, I was online 42 hours, 52 minutes for a grand total of $1,560. Here is how I made that money. Let's dive on right into it, shall we? I think I'm gonna take the glasses off before I get started. I just wanna go bare face today. There you go, now you can see speed. Monday, August 8th was online. Two hours, 26 minutes for a grand total of $93. Tuesday, August 9th was online. Nine hours, nine minutes for a grand total of $255. Wednesday, August 10th was online. Four hours, 58 minutes for a grand total of $147. For Thursday, August 11th was online. 11 hours, 38 minutes for a grand total of $496. Matsushi. Yeah, man, so that day was pretty good. So I got a total of $353 just from trips, $82 was promotions, $61 in tips. So just with the, without the promotions, that's $410 just in trips and tips. So we're gonna get another one in, not too shabby. Yeah, man, you see me with the all white looking like an angel. Yeah, white Omega moon face watch, the sun, let's get it. Friday, August 12th was online, 10 hours, 14 minutes for a grand total of $320, not too shabby. That was a pretty good, pretty good day, man. Saturday was online, four hours, 25 minutes for a grand total of $127, man. So let's get to that, man, because that is when my car had broke down. So let's talk about that and discuss it real quick, shall we? Saturday was going pretty good. It was online up, I already said four hours, some change. Started before 7 a.m. So things was going good. Things was picking up. You know, people were just starting to go out to brunch and hang out with friends and drink, you know. You know how people are. But anyways, so I'm in route to pick up a passenger at a red light. The light just turned green. You know, over there having a good time listening to Willie Beeman, of course, in the zone. As soon as the light turned green, I hit the gas, it started like, spinning, then that was it. The wheels started spinning and it just like lost power. Then I don't know if it's the transmission, the drivetrain, I don't know. So let's just watch some of the footage that I took from that. You hear that? I don't know what that was, but um, this thing ain't moving, so curious to see what happens. Damn, so um, I had to recall AAA because I uh, asked or requested the wrong service. So um, they bringing the tow truck and they said the tow truck is going to take about 75 minutes or less to get here. So um, 
It's about 12.03 p.m. now, so we'll see, man. I'm probably gonna be waiting till about one o'clock p.m. The bad thing is, the car broke down. I'm gonna be out of making money for a few days. The good thing is, I'm on the side of the road, and I guess I'll have some content to talk about. I don't know. So, gonna take it to the Toyota dealership. You know, have them take a look at it. Probably gonna be out a few thousand dollars, but it is what it is, man. Okay, so I have a quick update. It's not gonna take the driver an hour to get here, thank God. So, um, looking at the map, three minutes away. So, yeah, just waiting for them and uh, see what they say. Dang. Yeah, man, we just gotta see what's going on, man, with this car. I don't know what exactly it could be, but I'm salty, man. It was in route to make $2,000 this week, but setbacks happen, what can you say? Okay, so in the tow truck right now, headed to the Toyota dealership on Geary, of course, man. So I'm with my guy, Carlos, you know, he's taking me there. Oh, yeah, cool dude, you know, he used to drive. He no longer does ride share anymore, so uh, yeah, that car looked just like mine, but dang, man, it's probably gonna have to be like a whole new transmission or something crazy, so man, another setback, I was gonna hit $2,000, but um, not in anymore, so I'm gonna give you an update, let y'all know where I'm at for the week, <clears throat> I was at this. Good last. There we go. So finish off the end of the week at 1557 I'll take it. Okay, so far for this week, I spent $173.19 in gas, not too shabby. So it probably would, would have been a little bit more if I'd have driven the rest of the week, but yeah, pretty good, man. So $173 deducted from 1560 Let me do the math real quick. Guess that's a net of $1,386. So, um, yeah, pretty good, I guess. Or y'all could look at it whatever way you want to look at it. I really don't care, but those are the numbers for the week, man. So now let's get to the importance of being able to readapt your mindset and be flexible. And um, now since I don't have a car, what exactly I'm going to do and how do I feel about it? Yeah, so since my car is down, I'm probably going to be out of commission for... You know, at least a week, maybe two weeks. We don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. So, was I nervous? No. Like, if you've seen some of the interactions, you see my face. I wasn't pissed. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't crying. You know, I mean, it's all part of the game, man. You know, ups and downs are going to happen. You're going to have to overcome adversity. So, things is all about how you respond to them and your mindset and how you will be able to readapt and be flexible, like I said in the beginning of the video. Yeah, so the importance of being able to readapt your mindset, I could have been negative, like, oh shit, like, damn, I don't have no car and I don't have no way to make money and been lazy and start making excuses. But from, you know, veterans experience, I know that Uber and Lyft have rental programs. So, a lot of people have been asking me, oh, what do you think about the Tesla? What do you think about the car rental program? So we're going to see about that now, finally. So finally, you know, you're going to get my opinion from it. So I'm looking forward to it. So that's what I'm going to do, man. So I went to the app, you know, made my reservations. So, well, tomorrow will be Monday. So when you're watching this right now, today will be Monday, uh, August 15th. So I'm going to have you know my uh, Tesla this week so I'm gonna pick it up 
And um, I start doing a review for that and let y'all know if it's worth it or not, man. So like I said, man, that's the importance of being able to readapt your mindset, thinking creative, think of the ways that you still can make money and get things done, man. So shout out to them for having this rental program available. It's not perfect, but hey, man, you still can make money. Because when I first started, trust me, this was not there. So a few years ago, if this would have been happening, I probably would have been screwed. But hey, man, they got plenty of solutions and alternatives and ways that you still can get out there and make some money. So we're going to see how that unfolds for your boy. So let's just, we're just going to see, man. Man, that's, that's pretty much like the message that I try to preach, you know, self-reliance, uh, holding yourself accountable, even when things go your way, even when things don't go your way through all circumstances and situations, man. You know, you definitely want to start looking at it that way because everything you do is your fault, the good and the bad. So, you know, that's just how it is, man. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I definitely get it for a lot of people who are new to this and um, it can be scary, you know, and it can, and it is, you know, difficult because it's a battle between you versus you. So, are you going to come out on top? Are you going to fold? You know, what you going to do, man? Are you gonna think and find other solutions and ways to still execute and get the job done? It's all about your mindset and um, you know, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to achieve those goals? How bad do you want to become successful? You know, nobody's forcing you to do this. So if it doesn't work, then you know, shit, find a job. Other than that, man, if you like me, you want to get it done, you want to have freedom, Live life on your own terms. That's what it's about, man. You're gonna have to earn that type of freedom, man. You know, be willing to accept everything that comes with the choice that you made for yourself. And uh, I'm willing to ex accept it. I know it's not gonna be perfect. I know it's gonna be a grind. I know I'm going to go through ups and downs, but I'm still gonna get it done, man. Just watch me. Like I said, man, I'm just now getting started. People have really even seen the things I got coming behind the scenes. They really haven't seen my true creativity, man. We just got a lot to come, a lot of grinding, a lot of learning, and um, constantly readapting our mindsets, learning new things, uh, changing up paths and courses, you know, when stuff and certain situations come up. You know, that's what it's about, man. And um, you always gotta have a smile on your face, you know, readapt. And uh, attitude is very important when doing this, man, because a lot of y'all have bad attitudes. Y'all hold yourself back by the y'all beliefs, listen to other people's negative beliefs, uh, parents, friends, you know, telling you things that can't be done, things that you are not capable of. And some of y'all believe it, but I don't. Uh, I'm hard-headed, I'm stubborn, so I gotta figure out everything for myself. And um, who do you truly trust besides yourself? You gotta ask yourself that. But um, yeah, man, that's the Ronnie Speed rant for the day, or this video, I should say. And um, yeah, stay in tune next week. We're going to see how this week unfolds with the with the new vehicle. So, hope for the best, man. Other than that, like the video, comment, share the video. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, Ronnie Speed. Follow me on Instagram, too. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up. Share this video, man. Yeah, man, we taking over, like I said. Other than that, continue to grind, strive to make two racks in a week, and reap the benefits and come share your story. Other than that, man, that's it. Holla back. Peace.